我是 Jason， 微软大中华区人工智慧负责人及台湾微软行销营运长。在公司，我热衷于提供台湾各产业不同的数位解决方案。为了更深入了解各产业需求，掌握第一手资讯，闲暇时，我还是一名 Uber 司机。Jason, come to the front. Hey, man, what are you doing here? How are you doing? I'm waiting for my Uber. Well, that's me, I guess. <laughs> You're driving Uber these days? Well, sometimes I want to use this, you know, try to meet people, to talk to them, you know, Smart technology、move. stuff. Good to see you. So, shall we? Yeah, let's let's,、uh, let's, let's go. Going, yes. Going to the A-class roadshow, actually. Actually, speak of A-class, I have to say this is a very cool car. I'm glad you like it. It's it's really the newest and hottest stuff that we have on the market. The thing is,、um, this app you guys have, the、uh, the Mercedes and me. Now this app is really cool. You basically have full control over your car on your cell phone, so、yeah. you can wake up in the morning, still be in bed, actually, start the engine, start the AC, do whatever you like, see how your gas status is. So you see your full car status on on your phone now. What made you guys start thinking about? Is this is the first one you start to have Mercedes and me app, or how does that to do with you know your whole digital transformation of Mercedes? We're we're actually calling the the A class the、uh, perfect automobile device. So、uh, we're really saying this is like a driving state of the art cell phone because people spend so much time on their mobile phones、yes. that we don't want to yank them、uh, out of their reality and make them feel. Like they're in a less convenient space when they're in the car, but we want to make them feel like in their most convenient space. Is it just me, or don't you feel it's a little warm in yeah, here? Getting hot in here. Let's turn up the AC. Okay. I think it's probably just because of me. What are you doing here? Where did you come from? Wherever. He, he always shows up at the weirdest time, and then somehow just boom, you know. <laughs>、uh, yeah, wherever there are digital innovation, there is gems from the business next. Yeah. So nice to meet you. Hey, good to meet. Good to meet you. Yeah. So,、um, yeah, I think it's really warm here. Can we do something? Absolutely. You can actually talk to the car. Huh.、Uh, now it's on Mandarin, but you can say "Hey, Mercedes," and then、uh, ask her to、uh, to turn up the AC a little bit. Okay. Let me let me try. Let me try. 你好，宾士。请问需要做什么？请把温度调低一点。No, okay. So now it's at twenty-one、uh, degrees. <laughs> it's a lot cooler now. So speaking about the digital innovation that we know that、uh, Mercedes-Benz is doing for、uh, the smart car things right now, Marcus, can you share some more about the digital innovation inside the company? Yeah, I think the digital transformation is about a whole. Company、uh, and cultural approach、mm -hmm. that everybody needs to understand that and、um, to really understand what to do with data also, yeah. Because a lot of、um, our digital transformation is really to get the data, to understand the data,、mm -hmm. and to use it to be better in whatever we try to do.、Mm -hmm. Talking about the innovation technique that、uh, we need to talk about,、uh, Microsoft, Jason, is there any? Kind of、uh, new method or some kind of method you can share with us about Microsoft how to do for the digital innovation or just like um, um, intelligent manufacturing that、uh, you, you you talk about nowadays. Well, see, ma manufacturing is actually a very interesting industry because、uh, it is very broad.、Uh -huh. And actually, we have been doing manufacturing for like a hundred years almost. All right. Right. And then there are a lot of things that we find we can change. Right. Just started a few several years ago. A lot of companies start to use big data analysis.、Mm. They use machine learning. Basically, they feed data in and try to recognize patterns before each event occur. Event could be anything. It could、mm. be a defect. It could be you know just or in the car example, it could be a maintenance required, right? Or、okay. you need to change your rim, change your tire, and all that type of thing. That's、okay. one way of doing it. The other way nowadays,、uh, people are talking about AI. The more sexy one is basically to try to use computer vision. Oh. So because so computer vision basically means how can computers see. Right,、gotcha. so computer right can look at one popular scenario is the、uh, the defect identification.、Mm. Right, in in the old days, people use naked eye people, human beings.、Mm -hmm. But imagine yourself standing at assembly line, staring at the products for I don't know an hour later, you got tired, right? Yeah, and you may miss something. So they start to see how we can do using computer vision. 
to start to identify defects. It usually works best with sophisticated products, mm -hmm. with high unit price products. Actually, just uh, I think a month ago, also Microsoft Azure, we have announced we start to have this digital twin okay. services. Mm -hmm. So what's a digital twin? Essentially is you simulate the devices or machines, right? And you run it in the cloud to see how it will run in the real world before you actually deploy. So this is what we see in manufacturing. But there are also many other ways you know, to do it. And then as I always said, it's all in your imagination. And as Marx has talked about earlier, the key scenario is always centralized around the user experience. Yeah. Right? The people ones. Just like the small car that we are right now for the new A class. Yeah, so you can see this uh, interface for the first time. It's uh -huh. a completely digitalized uh, dashboard. You can say, hey Mercedes, and the car will answer. So this user experience is really what we've elevated. Um, not, not like an evolution, but more like a revolution. Mm -hmm. So um, it's, it's really um, very customer centric. Coming from a mobile de device, coming from a cell phone, and this whole intuitive world that surrounds people nowadays, how can we bring that to the car? and really um, make it a more seamless experience for the customers. But actually, the nowadays with the, with the Hey Mercedes, you can dictate your emails and your text messages completely. Yes. You just speak it, it types it down. You say, send to Jason, it'll send it to you. And this is where I see AI could make a difference because mm -hmm. imagine if you can go home 30 minutes earlier, that AI, as far as I'm concerned, is a, more, a lot more impactful. So I can spend 30 more minutes with my yeah. kids. Talking about the, um, the the AI can do, I also know uh, Microsoft are doing right now for the HoloLens. Yeah, see, actually, HoloLens, we introduced HoloLens a few years ago. Mm -hmm. The HoloLens, mm -hmm. when you first came out, we called it argumented reality. Basically, yeah, you see the real thing, real world, plus virtual things embedded mm -hmm. into it, argumented to it. HoloLens is a goggle, you put it on, you mm -hmm. can just use it. And it's it standalone, you don't have to connect to a PC. Yeah. It has its own processor, it has its own uh, network capability. And then that also applies to the earlier topic that James was talking about is in manufacturing. Uh. We, we start to see assembly line leaders using using HoloLens to communicate with his people along the assembly line or even in another factory. Mm -hmm. If they say they're both using the same machine, one machine broke on the factory, the other one isn't, they try to, they can use that to collaborate. They can help them yes. uh, connect it in, uh, outside of the factory. Correct. Mm -hmm. So that's another way, I would say, how technology, more than just AI, can help you know manufacturing nowadays. So maybe sometimes that uh, Mercedes Benz can use also the HoloLens. We do. Yeah. We're actually using it at the A Class Roadshow, which is uh, ongoing right now. So wow. and we really use it to explain the technology and the safety systems around the car better. And I'm amazed by it. Let's no, go. No, let's, let's, let's go, go. see it now, right? Let's yeah. go. Sure, sure, check sure. it out. Great.